I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition flow inside my DNA. I was born like this, it's born like this. See, Maggie Lincoln. Grace Ann Maps was born October 24th, 1835 in New Jersey. Grace is recognized as being the first black woman to graduate from a four-year college in the United States. Described as mulatto, she was born to free parents, David Maps, who was a black Quaker and successful riverboat trader, and Anna Douglas, who was the granddaughter of Cyrus Bastille, a former slave who bought his freedom, became a successful baker, and founded the Free African Society. Grace's family included many prominent African Americans and abolitionists, including her cousin Sarah Maps Douglas. Grace's father passed away while she was a little girl, and she was raised by her mother Anna along with her little brother David Jr. in Egg Harbor, New Jersey. After secondary school, Grace enrolled at New York Central College in McGrawville, New York, and in 1852 she graduated with a four-year degree. She is the first African-American woman on record to accomplish such an achievement. After obtaining her degree, Grace taught at the Institute for Colored Youth, a Quaker-sponsored private school for African-Americans founded in 1837 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Grace was the first woman to head the girls' high school division at the Institute. She taught at the Institute for 12 years, and many of her students went on to become teachers and other notable professionals. Grace's family was noted by her contemporaries to be a family that loved the arts. Grace was said to be an exquisite poet. Unfortunately, much of her work was not preserved with the exception of her poem, Lines, which was published in Anglo-African magazine in November 1859. The last stanza of the poem reads, I know the friends I love so well through the years of their lifelong race, lifted sweet eyes of faith to God, and now they see his blessed face. Thou, Lord, forever be my song, and I'll not weep for days gone by, but give thee back each hallowed hour, a seed of immortality. Grace dedicated her life to educating and uplifting black children and loving the arts. She passed away in June 1897 in Burlington, New Jersey. This has been your Black History Gem of the Day. Thanks for watching.